Yeah, Baza YouTube, Six Fit Hacks here. How's it going, everybody? How are you guys today? A UU Wi Fi battle against Raza Rasa, aka Absolute Terry, if I'm not mistaken. That's how you pronounce his name. He actually does upload, so if you guys want to go check him out, channel looking stuff are going to be down below. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to close combat that like button down below. Also, let me know in the comment section what your favorite new addition to the UU tier recently was. A whole bunch of OU Pokemon drop to you you and if you may not know exactly which mons those are don't fret because I did upload a video uh, explaining my thoughts about them yesterday so if you guys want to go check that out then I'll link that down below as well but I am trying out one of the newest additions in Mega Manetric so really hoping that puts in a lot of work in this game as going <coughs> sorry as going into this battle uh, the double fire types in Chandelure and Infernape could be a little bit problematic depending on what sets they are running. Also, SD Mega Abso could be very, very annoying to deal with as well. So I end up leaving off with my Primarina because literally turn one, I can just click one of my dual stabs and potentially get a KO. Unfortunately though, Porygon 2 is stupidly bulky as you guys may have seen in uh, some of my previous battles. This thing is a huge pain to deal with and just in general if you've ever really faced it on Showdown or in any Wi-Fi battle that you may have seen it in. So he is going to end up going for the recover as I get a free switch into my Amoongus. Thanks to the fact that he did a Mega Evolve, yet with his Absol, he doesn't have Magic Bounce and he doesn't have a Grass type, which means I pretty much just get a free sleep here as he's going to hit me up with the Ice Beam. Doesn't do entirely too much damage. I will be able to regen back all that HP. So I'm going to try to take this opportunity to bring in my Glide score so I will be able to get on my Stealth Rocks because again, with his Absol not Mega Evolve, he will not be able to prevent me from getting up my hazards which is going to be really nice as he pulls a switch into the infernape this could be potentially kind of bad because he could be like a max special attack variant with hp ice but i need to try to get on my stealth rocks here so i can start applying that offensive pressure to him plus the stealth rocks are going to make it to where i can possibly to a ko the porygon 2 with a modest specs hydro pump on the switch and so it's going to be a huge plus for me as he ends up going for the rocks i am end up making a bit of a risky play here by going for the knockoff expecting him to not have the hidden power ice and as I mentioned that was a little bit risky because HP ice might have been able to knock me out or it would have put me extremely extremely low thankfully though he does end up switching into the swampert as I went for the knockoff I'm gonna try to switch into into my primarina expecting him to want to go for either a scald or an ice beam but he actually goes for the roar roars me into my scissor which is a little bit annoying because I don't really want too much damage to be put on my scissor but I am going to be naturally faster than Swampert so I can at least start chipping him down or I can get switch initiative if he really does want to switch out which honestly his best play was to stay in with Swampert and possibly try to go for the Scald or the Earthquake expecting me to bring back in my Primarina or switch into my Amoongus as he does end up going for the Scald if he had Ice Beam there that actually would have been another really good play on his part as he does end up getting the burn that burn honestly is not entirely uh, too crucial actually before I forget this team was passed to me by the amazing Mo BGC uh, I did change up some sets on the teams but a pace bin link will be down below for you guys to try out the team as well and this was originally Specs Hydreigon but I didn't like that the team was so slow so I made it into Scarf Hydreigon and it actually does end up really helping me out here because it is a very good revenge killer in this battle but regardless I'm able to knock out the Swampert as in comes the Absol I really really do not want to risk him possibly going for a sword dance expecting me to switch out so I'm gonna stay in here and be aggressive and even though I am at minus two special attack this Draco Meteor is still gonna be doing a solid 55 60 ish percent as I do get off a decent amount of damage on the Absol plus at this point Hydreigon is too low to the point where it can switch in and live a bandit e-speed along with uh, rocks and burn damage and I'm in range of where a mock punch or vacuum wave could possibly knock me out from the inferno as well and then um, uh, Neuvern just gets a potentially free switch in against me 
depending on what I locked myself into. So I really didn't feel that it was entirely too bad for me to just stack my Hydreigon here because I'm able to prevent Absol from setting up and I'm able to weaken it, giving me a switch into my Scizor. And this is a bit of a tough predicament because I basically need to go for the Bullet Punch. I cannot risk him having Fire Blast and just incinerating my Scizor. So he's going to make a really good play here. Knows I'm not going to U-turn and he's going to make the aggressive switch into the Entei, which I don't exactly really have a safe switch into this. My best bet to switch into this is my Gliscor, which after Rock's damage, uh, thanks to Poison Heal, I will be out of range of where another one will possibly be able to knock me out. Plus, I do have the Protect, which is really nice, but because I don't have the Roost, this is really uh, potentially the only one time I can switch into Entei, which means I have to try and not let this Entei get a free switch in or else it just gets a KO every single time because not even Primarina is going to be switching in to an Adamant Choice Banded Sacred Fire coming from Entei. So he's going to switch out into his Neuburn here, probably expecting me to go for the Earthquake or maybe go for the Roost, uh, which wouldn't have been a bad prediction on his part to have made. As he does bring in the Neuburn, I'm a little bit concerned that this can maybe be Z-Move. I really have not faced a single Neuburn since it got banned from the NU tier, so I don't really know what they typically tend to carry, although the damage calc on uh, the showdown damage calc said that they're typically life orbs, so that was kind of what I was expecting, so I do go for the protect as it goes for the air slash. I'm gonna go ahead and try to switch directly into my Manetri because I will I will be able to easily live an air slash, and then from there, I can potentially go for the hidden power ice, or if I do predict them to switch out, I will be able to go for the bolt switch, and this is where me getting rid of Swampert is absolutely amazing because now Manetri can just come in and for the most part, click Thunderbolt and bolt switch very, very freely. But he does actually end up switching into his Porygon 2, which means I do take a round of unnecessary rocks damage on my Manetric. And I want to try to keep this Manetric at over 50% because after the Intimidate, I can easily take one Adamant Choice Bandit Extreme Speed if it really comes down to it. So I'm going to go straight for the Bolt Switch into my Primarina as long as he doesn't wake up turn 1 and go through the Recover and I don't get unlucky with Hydro Pump misses, I should be able to cleanly to a KO him here. That is disgusting raw power from Prima Arena. I don't know how the recent mons dropping to Yu will affect Prima Arena, but I'm pretty positive this thing is still going to be able to just come in, click Moon Blast, or click Hydro Pump and absolutely nuke something. So I'm able to get rid of the Porygon 2, which is really great because that thing could have been a humongous, humongous problem late game if I had allowed it to uh, stick around or if I had missed the Hydro Pump there and he woke up and, and he went for the recover. As he brings in the Neuburn, I really have no more use for my Amoongus at this point. I lose to the Infernape, the... Uh, Chandelure, which I think he still has in the back, if I'm not mistaken, and then I lose two. No, not not Chandelure. I'm talking about. Uh, I know he has two fire types. They uh, Entei and Infernape. Sorry, I don't know why I was thinking Chandelure. But yeah, I lose to both of those, and I lose to the Absol potentially as well if it's got the Psycho Cut, or I can't really uh, do too much damage to it either way. So honestly, Amoongus was just kind of sack fodder at that point, as this does give me a free switch into my Manetric. I will be able to go straight for the Thunderbolt, and at this point, I should be able to pick up a KO because nothing that he has left will be able to safely switch in and take two hits. As down goes Neuburn, in comes the Entei. At this amount of HP, I'm actually still out of range of where even a, a neutral choice bandit extreme speed will not be able to knock me out without a crit and I really don't want to risk him potentially going for a sacred fire thinking that I'm gonna switch so I'm just gonna stay in here know I can live one hit and I will be able to knock him out with the Thunderbolt which is really great because if I'm not mistaken Manetric just picked up uh, its third KO in this battle which is really awesome as in comes the Infernape and Mach Puncher Vacuum Wave will be able to knock me out here but I'm guessing either he doesn't have it or he was just expecting me to bring in my Primarina, possibly expecting one of those two moves. But at this point, I really didn't have too much more use for my Manetric, considering that it already did more than enough in this battle, as I will be able to get a free switch into my Gliscor. There is still the slight possibility he may have the hit of Power Ice, but I have to risk that, as I will be able to obviously not be affected by the Thunder Punch. I'm guessing that he either thought I was going to switch out Scouting for that, or maybe that I would go for Protect, or maybe he was uh, locked in into Thunder Punch because lately I've seen a lot of Choice Scar Pokemon with rocks so that's a very 
a good possibility that he might have been a choice scarf possibly with Stealth Rock. So I'm able to knock out the Infernape as in comes the Absol. Turns out that this Absol has the Ice Beam, which explains why he wanted to save it as he's able to just get rid of me here. This is perfectly fine though because I do still have Primarina, which is almost at full HP and I do have the scissor which will be able to easily take one sucker punch even uh, if he does want to go for it and crits me and I should be able to knock him out with the bullet punch so that is going to be the victory in my favor so good game to Raza Rasa again guys his channel looking stuff are going to be down below for y'all to go check out also let me know what new uh, Pokemon is your favorite that dropped from OU to UU or that you're just most excited to use in the UU tier I do really want to get Wi-Fi battles with all the new Pokemon so you guys may be seeing uh, a bit of a uh, rise in the UU Wi-Fi battles uh, being uploaded so hopefully you guys don't mind that also um, PU and then you got some new additions so definitely excited to use those new Pokemon as well but for the most part right now UU I think is possibly the funnest tier from uh, first looks of uh, all the new additions that were added to it but without that being said guys I'll see you all tomorrow I did upload an FFA part earlier today if you guys want to go check that out as well so later everybody Cause my brain and heart are both tied in the knot And this hinders me from crying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken For now, I'm living with no more pain Tears are hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real